Pineapple does belong on a burger. Rolfus and Paddy Joe. Are you ready to party? Good. G'day all, Tazdaz here again. Welcome to my latest video. Thanks for stopping by. So today I've been to Mrs. Ollie's Takeaway in New Norfolk, which is the old Blair Street store. So the previous owners are gone. It's been taken over by some new owners. And I thought it's about time I checked out some of the good old Rosie's chicken that they used to do. So they have like chicken pieces and chicken pops and different burgers. So um, felt a little bit uh, Hawaiian slash in the mood for some pineapple today. Your dish is pineapple pizza. Are you So I've gone for the Rosie's Gone Troppo Burger. So it's in a nice little cardboard box here. Gone Troppo with a smiley face. If you love my video, please give me a thumbs up. Your bloody ripple, mate. Um, people in there seem really, really nice and friendly and uh, uh, food so far from there has been excellent. So um, this burger is, it's, so it's Rosie's Chicken, um, which is, kind of a little bit similar to KFC in flavour. And then you've got pineapple. Pineapple does belong on a burger. Rolfus and Patty Joe. You've got bacon, you've got cheese, you've got lettuce and you've got mayonnaise all in a nice fresh bun. There it is. It's bloody huge. Um, so it's got the nice Rosie's little, nice Rosie's little wrapper. Oh my God, that piece of chicken is just insane. So the burger itself was $10.50. And look at all that chickeny goodness. Oh my, oh my. You've got there your melted gooey cheese and then there's the pineapple there and you've got your nice big piece of bacon as well. And it's got a fair bit of weight to it. So 10 bucks 50, pretty good value so far. But what does it taste like? Let's get in there, no dilly dallying around. Rosie's Gone at Troppo Burger in for a taste test. Mmm. <laughs> Yum. Wow. So that piece of chicken is thick and crunchy and juicy. And then you get the salty bacon, the salty cheese, the crunch of the lettuce, creamy mayonnaise, and then that sweet, sweet pineapple aftertaste. One more bite. Oh, this is good. Hmm. So that burger is spot on. The only fault I will say, it's a tiny little bit salty. That's probably from the combination of the fried chicken with its coating. And it actually had two pieces of bacon. Um, but then you get that nice sweet aftertaste of the pineapple to counterbalance all that saltiness. Just an absolute winning burger. So for value, I'm going to give it a nine out of 10. Solid burger for $10.50. Craps all over a Macca's chicken burger. And for flavor, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10 as well. Super tasty. Love that combination of the cheese and the pineapple and the bacon. Just works in a chicken burger for me or an Aussie burger. Um, so yeah, really good. Rosie's chicken's never disappointed me. Absolutely delicious. So if you haven't had Rosie's chicken, it's not in a lot of locations. It's a little bit on the mainland in Tassie, mainly in Western Australia, which is where I think the company comes from. So yeah, 
Solid burger, tasty burger. If you're in the area and you haven't had Rosie's chicken, stop into Mrs. Ollie's on Blair Street and give them a try. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Thank you to my YouTube members and thank you to my patrons for your support. Thank you to everybody else that has supported the channel. Thank you for watching and hopefully we shall see you on a future video. Bye. I'm going to polish that off now. It's bloody delicious and I'm bloody starving.